From time to time, students of my books and courses ask me why I don't give them exercises and assignments. Well, it's because exercises and assignments don't work. They don't make you a better programmer. In fact, in my opinion, they're a complete waste of time. Now, if you are studying programming at college or university, that's probably exactly the opposite of what your teacher is telling you. And I really don't want to get lots of emails from angry teachers, so let me rephrase what I just said. Exercises and assignments are good at, well, teaching you to solve exercises and assignments. College professors love them because they give them a simple way to mark your work. What exercises don't do is teach you to write programs, by which I mean big, complicated programs like programmers in the real world write. Programs that actually work. You know, sometimes when a student asks me for exercises, I ask them what programs they're writing. Programs, they say, oh, I'm not actually writing any programs. And sometimes they go on to say, well, the trouble is I can't think of any programs I want to write. Well, you know, it's kind of obvious, but you have to write programs if you want to be a programmer. If you can't think of any programs you want to write, well, I don't want to discourage you, but maybe you're trying to get into the wrong profession. I mean, if you wanted to be a rock star and I said, what music are you practicing? I'd expect you to be able to tell me. If you want to be a programmer, you've got to write programs, not copy code that you've seen someone else write on YouTube, not solve 20 exercises that you found on a coding site. You've got to write your own programs. Writing a big program is completely, and I mean completely different from doing programming exercises. It's a bigger challenge, you'll make more mistakes, and you will learn so much more about programming, real programming, useful programming. You'll only learn that by writing big, complicated programs. So, what program should you write? Only you can answer that question. Pick something that interests you. Maybe it's a file management tool, a backup tool, maybe it's a game. Which, as a matter of fact, is how I started, way back in the early 1980s. Back then, we didn't have the internet, so I couldn't just log on to YouTube to watch a lesson or do an assignment. My first program was Hello World. My second program was an adventure game containing tens of thousands of lines of code. It was stupidly ambitious. I made loads of terrible, really terrible programming mistakes. And it was the best learning experience I could possibly have had. That taught me more about programming, real programming, than 10,000 exercises and answers could possibly have done. If you followed a few of my courses, you know that I love programming adventure games, but you might not. So you have to choose something that interests you. And whatever project you choose, it should be big and challenging. By which I mean that when you start writing your program, you shouldn't know how to do it all. It's going to force you to learn how to do it. That, in my view, is the only way to learn to program seriously. Exercises and assignments, well, I mean, if your teacher gives them to you, of course, do them. You learn some things from them. They're probably useful to some degree. But if you are serious about programming, the best way, the only way to learn to program in depth is to find a project that interests you and go ahead and write it. Be ambitious, make mistakes. Exercises and assignments are small and neat and they have model answers. That's not what you want. Real programs are big and messy and only by writing real programs will you learn the art of writing understandable, debuggable, maintainable, workable code. So don't put it off. Start today. Throw away the exercises and do some real programming.